All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today I am so excited for this video. I'm gonna be doing a full day in the life using the brand new iPhone 14 Pro Max iPhone. Now this video specifically is using the iPhone from a content creator's perspective. I use this thing all day long, whether it be for posting content, shooting content, posting it on different platforms, YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, and I take so many photos with my iPhone as well. All right, so right now it is actually 8.33 a.m. So at this point, I've been up for about a half hour or so. The only things I've really done so far is scroll Instagram a little bit. Um, I had a quick FaceTime with my girlfriend, Miranda. Then obviously I made some coffee. Now overall, I would say I am a very heavy iPhone user, especially on days where I'm posting content. I have a lot of screen time and I use a lot of apps that probably pull a lot of power, such as Lightroom Mobile, stuff like that. But right now, just after kind of having a light morning here for the last, you know, 30, 40 minutes, my phone is already at 91%. So I don't know if you guys can see that right there. There's been a lot of talk about the battery life on this phone so far. I've only had this thing for a few days. So today, now that I can actually sit and kind of document what I do in the day, we're gonna be able to really test this thing out and see what it's all about. Now, this is actually the first vlog that I'm going to do since I've lived in downtown Chicago, actually taking you guys with me around downtown. We've got a couple fun spots. I think this is gonna be a really fun video. So sit back, relax, make sure you guys drop this video a thumbs up, make sure you're subscribed to the channel as well. And let's get this video started, shall we? Oh, my camera is tipping. I didn't want my camera to tip down. Look at these shorts. This. This outfit is not okay. I didn't want you guys to see my shorts. That is embarrassing. But if you guys have watched any of my other day in the life videos of you know being a content creator, stuff like this, right? One thing I really try to do is kind of, at least what I say, is to get my socials going early on. This morning, let's take a nice little ultra wide photo of downtown Chicago because this view is sick and it's a great way to test out this camera, which is one thing I had in mind when I got this apartment. I wanted to have a place that looked sick for content and I think I did get that here. I right, so snapped a couple pics using the 0.5, the three times zoom, everything like that. But I do want to kind of show you guys how sketchy this rig is right now. So I'll film a clip here on my iPhone so I can insert it in. Look at this camera just chilling on my grill. That makes me nervous. All right, let's go inside and edit these things. First impressions, it honestly looks pretty similar to the iPhone 13 Pro Max camera. Now these weren't in the Pro Raw. Um, we'll actually take some Pro Raw photos once we go downtown Chicago here in a little bit. So yeah, gonna throw one or two of these up on my Instagram stories and on Twitter, get the day started out like that. And then right now it's time to get dressed and head off to the gym, get a little workout in. And obviously the phone's coming with me. Let's go. All right, let's see what the move is today. Hmm. All right, so for today's pre-workout, I'm honestly keeping it pretty simple. I'm gonna go with the Ghost Pump. This is the Strabango Margarita. And then I'm stacking that with the ghost size. And I'm gonna stay away from caffeine for this because if you guys know me and this channel, you probably know what I'm gonna be drinking a little bit later on in this video. I test what the front camera sounds and looks like um, on the new iPhone 14 Pro Max because it's supposed to be improved and honestly it does look a little bit better. I believe it now has autofocus, but you know, I am downtown Chicago. It's windy for all the international people. Chicago is called the Windy City for a reason, so you probably hear some of that. Let's compare it to the back camera because that should be better, right? Okay, so now this is literally the same exact street um, with the back camera, so yeah. One thing I always say is I try to get my workout done early in the day to kind of get things moving and done out of the way. So I'm curious to see how these two cameras compare to each other. And I guess we'll see. Right now it is actually 1.36. So I spent a long time at the gym. Honestly got a really good shoulder workout in. Then I did 30 minutes on the Stairmaster. And then I walked a little bit on the treadmill just while I was writing down some notes for some future content, stuff like that. And a big thing for me and why I actually love the larger screen size on the iPhones and why I get the Pro Max version every year is because you can multitask a lot better. So like, for example, I use picture in picture all the time for YouTube videos. So right here I have my notes app open and then I have a YouTube plan from my buddy Big E and I can just move that around all over the screen while I'm doing my notes and stuff like that. But between that or texting people back, doing multiple things at once and especially 
if I am editing photos. I can't imagine doing that on a smaller screen. I absolutely love the size of this. Right now it is 139 and my battery is at 60%, which for me coming from the 13 Pro Max last year, this is significantly worse, I will say. Is it a deal breaker for me? No, it's still the best phone out there, but it's something to take note of. So I actually have an appointment to pick something up actually at a store that you guys are probably familiar with in about 20 minutes. So right now I'm actually going to go ahead and call an Uber. We're gonna head downtown. Enough talking, let me just show you guys where we're going. Let's go. Hello for Johnny. Um, it's supposed to be some difference, but that's what I'm gonna find out. <laughs> Apple store because I don't give an F. Picked up the brand new AirPods Pro. I have a lot of thoughts on these and honestly the first gen was not my favorite but I gotta pick these up and review them for you guys and I really want to love these so maybe this is the pair. Let's just unbox them right here inside the Apple store because why not? And yes in case you're wondering there's a lot of people staring at me look at this. It's all right. Anything for the shot. Okay, so first things I noticed that are different are the little lanyard loops so you can attach these to something, don't lose them. But then you have these little speakers here so you can help track them down if you lose them. That's about the only noticeable difference on the physical AirPods. Now I gotta take a couple photos, obviously. And you know what, maybe we'll take them on the new iPhone 14 Pro Max. Okay, so a couple of things about the iPhone that I'm noticing now that I'm out and about. Obviously you can tell I'm in a really bright area here in this Apple store. You can definitely tell that the screen brightness on this phone is significantly brighter than the last one. Also, the dynamic island is really, really cool. Let me try to do this with my left hand because I'm right-handed, but you know, let's say you're playing some music, right? It goes up into your dynamic island right there. But yeah, the dynamic island, it's really good. It's a really cool little detail. And it is kind of nice having those things pop up up top. And look at that degrees right there, that's nice. And I really am impressed with the cameras on this phone. That Pro Raw is no joke. I mean, also we just gotta say that this is a gorgeous Apple store. I mean, two floors, all glass, right out to the water right here, downtown Chicago. I mean, it doesn't get much better than this. All right, so let me let this boat go by. Uh, okay, that's, that's something some weird people out here so I think I fit in. Hopefully you guys can hear me but picked up the AirPods Pro, got them right here. Let's go ahead and quickly sync them up with the iPhone 14. Open it up and yep there you go and also it looks kind of weird right now because I have an ND filter on my camera so that's why it gives you like this weird rainbow effect but quickly pops up with that new chip in this we're just gonna hit connect. Boom media connected so just like that. Now the last generation I actually used a different size tip and honestly they would always fall out. That was one of my things I didn't like too much about them was the in-ear tips. I've never really been that big of a fan of that type of headphones but noise canceling when you're traveling is just the best thing ever so I still do use them even though I have to shove them back in my ears like every 20 minutes. But these are supposed to be better noise cancellation. Well, let's just throw these in. And again, I'm in downtown Chicago right now, so it's there's literally a million people around me right now. So we're bumping on Post Malone. I got noise canceling on. You guys can probably hear a lot more than I can, but there's boats driving by, there's music playing, there's a million people walking by. And I literally feel like I'm in a room by myself. I, I don't hear anything, so super impressed. Look at this whole boat of people right here staring at me while I'm vlogging. It's fine. What's up, people? Make sure you subscribe. Beautiful day in downtown Chicago. Probably snap a few more photos with the iPhone 14 Pro while we're down here, because why not? And then we're gonna make a little stop because I'm feeling a little tired, I think we need a little pick-me-up. You know, you know. I bet you don't know where we're going, though. You sound really, really good. Quick little stop at work. I usually try not to come in on the weekends, but I figured I was literally right next door, so why not? And if you know me, you know why I'm here. All right, what flavor are we rocking with today? I think you already know. Gotta go with the orange cream. And I definitely need one of these for my office ASAP. All right, no better sound in the world than this right here. 
never gets old. Just in my 10 minute walk over here, using the new AirPods Pro Generation 2, I'm blown away by them. They sound so good compared to the last ones. The noise cancellation, I mean, I didn't hear anything. Traffic, people, sirens, boats, anything. Like to the fact where I should turn on transparency mode when I'm walking downtown just for safety. But when you do want that noise cancellation, these are gonna be a game changer. Let's get a little uh, battery update. So the battery update right now at 258 is 38%. So honestly, chipping away at that battery pretty intense. And I know I'm still gonna use my phone a lot today, especially I'm gonna try to edit some of these photos I just took walking around downtown. So I think I'm gonna have to charge it at some point today. Again, not a deal breaker, but not ideal. And I really still can't imagine not having the largest iPhone. I was looking at the other ones in the Apple store. If you're a content creator, to me, it's the only one that makes sense. If you use your phone a lot, at least. I'm trying to do a cool transition and just destroyed my phone on the ground. So there's that. Don't move. All right, so back home now, obviously, I actually was really hot, so I showered again, that's why I'm wearing a different outfit. But anyways, I just sat here and edited all the pro raw photos that I took out on our little journey this afternoon. For whatever reason, I was just talking to my boy, Chris Lawley, who he also has a sick YouTube channel, Everything Apple, I'll have it linked down in the description below. He said that there's like a bug right now with Lightroom where the pro raw photos aren't showing up correctly with the exposure. You'll kind of see that some of these photos in my camera roll are dramatically different than the photos once I imported them into Lightroom. So apparently that's just a bug and that should be fixed here soon. But regardless, even with them being dramatically underexposed, some of them were, there was enough information in that file to still bring back a lot of detail out of the shadows. And honestly, these photos look really, really good. I'm honestly really impressed, especially that one with the Chicago sign looks really good. That macro shot of the can where you can see all the condensation kind of build up on the side of that Ghost Energy can. I mean, for a phone, this is really, really impressive. Now the photo that really stuck out to me because I take this same exact photo all the time. And I mean, this honestly looks like it was shot on a real camera. I mean, if I look really close, I can tell that it's not, but this would fool a lot of people, honestly. And I actually enjoy editing photos on my iPhone. It definitely does get warm sometimes, especially when you're shooting high megapixel photos, which those pro raw photos are what, 48 megapixels. So that's a big file size and it holds a lot of data. So my phone definitely is warm after editing those. And unless I'm editing a big batch of photos, like, you know, dozens or a hundred photos, whatever, I actually prefer to edit them on my iPhone just because the screen looks so good and it's just a little bit quicker. Now a little update, it is actually 5.05 here. And I really do think I like the all day display. I know some people really hate on it. And yes, it does seem to affect my battery life some. I don't think that's the only issue though. I'll have to do some more tests later on. But you know, coming up on five o'clock here, it hasn't even been a full day. So it's 5.06 and my battery is currently at 17%. So not great, but you know, I'll probably be up today till honestly 11 o'clock or midnight. So this is gonna have to get a charge for sure. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna be doing, which is I actually want to take some photos of my iPhone. This will be for an actual Instagram post on my Instagram feed, probably whenever this video goes out, right? So this will be kind of like the teaser that I use on Instagram to drive people and push people to the YouTube channel. So I'm gonna take a couple cool photos. The normal Jayhawk style will probably include some sneakers, some tech, make it look nice and aesthetic here in the office. That has quickly become my signature. And then we'll actually throw the photos back in the iPhone, edit them in Lightroom, back in this, and I'll show you guys what it looks like. Just 
It's all about doing a bunch of different angles and then seeing what looks good in post. For anyone who is wondering, typically I shoot these photos. Um, pretty much all my Instagram photos are either on my FX3, which I'm filming on right now. Um, you guys are watching me. Or on the Sony a7 IV right here. Um, I have the 16 to 35 on this camera, the 50 mil 1.2 on this camera. I usually shoot a variety with both lenses, um, but I can 99% of the time get what I want out of those two lenses. I think we got a couple cool shots, so see what they look like now. Time to edit them. This photo's turned out sick. I always say this, but the SD card reader for the iPhone is a lifesaver. I use it like every single day. Threw them straight into the phone, edited them up. I'll throw them up on the screen while I'm talking. Um, and yeah, they look super crisp and clean. So right now it's about 621 and my battery is at 6%. So I think at this point we can tell it's gonna die here soon. I was gonna run it all the way to one, but honestly that just gives me anxiety. But I think we can assume that it's 620 right now, it probably would be dead by seven. So I'm gonna throw it on the charger for a little bit here. And then as far as the rest of the evening goes, it's probably gonna be pretty chill. But I did say this was full day, so you guys are gonna get the entire day. So I'm gonna eat this, edit a little bit, watch the OSU game, but the heaviest use of the iPhone is definitely behind us at this point. But it's a full day, so I will check in with you guys a little bit later on and give you at least my final thoughts. All right guys, so it is now 10.43 p.m. Honestly, I'm winding down for the evening. I've actually just been sitting here starting to edit the video you guys are watching right now. Now I know this video is a little bit lengthy, but I really wanted to do an in-depth full day in the life using this brand new iPhone 14 Pro Max, sharing all my thoughts and just using it in an honest way that a creator actually would. So if you guys would do me a favor, do two things for me. First of all, drop me a comment down below and let me know if you enjoyed this style of a video. If you want to see more like these in the future, if it was too much, too long, maybe not enough. Definitely interested to hear you guys' feedback. And then the second thing, let me know what you guys think of the iPhone 14 Pro after watching this video. Honestly, especially after watching back some of the content and looking at the photos again, all side by side, I'm honestly blown away by the image quality out of this for both photo and video. And there's definitely times when you're in a pinch and you don't have a pro camera on you and you wish you could get a little bit better image quality out of your phone. And I think that's where that 48 megapixels pro raw comes into play. But guys, that is gonna be it for me in today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, will you please drop this video a thumbs up. If you're new around here, consider subscribing. It really helps me and the channel out more than you can even imagine. That's it for me. I will catch you guys in the next video very, very soon. Peace, guys.